Good morning. Good morning, sir. Are you all right? Yes, yes sir. Okay, uh, we have almost come to the final module of the course, and in this part, this module, we will talk about individual sounds of the English language. Okay. So far, we have seen how English organizes its sounds and how some sounds are more prominent than the others in any English word. But we should also look at and we should also see how different English sounds are pronounced and how different they are from sounds in other languages that we speak. So, that if we pronounce some sounds in a non-standard manner, then we can relearn the pronunciation of that sound and can speak in the standard manner. Is that all right? Ordinarily, this module of the lecture would take about 10 hours, but I am going to tell you within one hour about how we human beings produce different speech sounds in our languages. Uh, my intention is to draw your attention to the various ways in which different sounds are produced. After all, human beings are most versatile when it comes to speaking. Human beings can speak at night, they can speak during day, they can speak under water, they can speak in air, they can speak while eating. Do you speak while eating? How many of us? Nearly all of us. Okay. They can speak while sleeping. Do you speak in sleep? How many people do? Do you, Irfan? Okay, I do. Do you do that, Google? Okay, lot of people speak when sleep. I have, you know, sometimes my wife tells me I had full lecture uh, in my sleep. And when I went to a study in Hyderabad, then my neighbors in the hostel thought I had some psychiatric problem, and I should see consult a doctor. I told them do not worry, you know the doctors may have a problem, but I do not. Thank you very much, you know. So, human beings can speak in, in a variety of ways, even if you gag their mouth, you know, gag your mouth and you can still try and speak something. Do that, gag your mouth and speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if somebody gags your mouth fully, you can speak through your nose. Do it. They can speak through gestures and postures. In a crowded meeting, we can ask. You know, friends know what is being said. Children know what is what their friends are asking. You know, we can speak in a variety of ways no other animal. There are many animals that speak, many animals. People say dolphins have as complex a language as the language of human beings. I do not know. It is not established with credible evidence, though it is a fact that many animals have language and many animals talk to their own kind about many different things, but uh, within the knowledge available so far, no animal has as complex a language as human beings. No animal can tell lies to other animals and we can routinely tell lies to others. Are you are absent from the class, I ask you why you did not, why did you not come to the class yesterday. I am not asking you. Okay. And lot of people tell me, sir, I was in the hospital. 
I know they had gone to Uti or to Kodekanal over the weekend, Monday they were tired. No other animal can do that. A tiger asks its son, where were you? Either the son tiger is quiet or tells the father tiger that he had gone to hunt for another animal. He cannot tell him he had gone to Uti. Okay? No other animal can tell lies and telling lies is not always a bad thing. After all, all literature is lies. You know, we talk about things that have not happened. Kalidasa tells the cloud, you know that? The story Kalidasa tells the cloud, go to Chennai, my beloved is there and tell her I am missing her. You know. Now, clouds do not speak. Okay, and the hero did not tell the cloud, but human beings have that capacity. Similarly, human beings can produce a variety of sounds, other animals cannot. You know, human beings can do, do it, like you know, four footed animals, or they can, they can roar like animals, lions, do it. It is like a D O G, it is not like an L I O N. Give me a louder roar. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Close your, you know, puff your, swell your uh, lungs first, then swell your cheeks, and then say, Whoa! Do it. <laughs> That is it, you see. Or human beings can go to the other extreme they can whisper so soft that only the person sitting next to them can understand them. Whisper into each other's ears, if you wash your mouth, if you do not have a dirty breath, you can whisper to an imaginary friend. Okay, do it, now do it. Okay, such that the person on the next bench should not hear you, do it. Okay. This is the range. Do you see the range? We have, a, we have a wide range. We can whisper, we can shout, we can say one minute thing in three minutes. You know, a lot of people have the faculty to describe stories. You know, then Amitabh Bachchan comes, grips the handle of the motorbike, kicks it. Okay. They can tell three hour story in six hours and there are other people who can tell six hour story in six minutes. Array, this was nothing you know, the same Amitabh Bachchan movie, motorcycle and heroine and music and nothing, one minute even finished story. Okay. We can produce a variety of sounds, we can whistle like birds. How many people can whistle? Come on. Who can we see longest? No, no cheating. Okay. Who can we see loudest? Okay. That was great. But I, 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 you know, because I come from a village, I can teach you more variety, but not on this course. <laughs> not on this course and my director will fire me, if he learns that I am teaching you whistling. But you know, you can whistle in many, many ways, using your hands, curling your lips or putting fingers into your mouth, you know, you can do a variety of, of things. All human beings can do that and only human beings can do that. No dog, no matter how handsome the other dog is, okay? no dog can whistle to another dog. No snake can whistle to another snake, no lion can whistle to another lion or lioness. Okay, we are the only one who can whistle or we can hiss like snakes, somebody disturbing you, you are studying and comes shh, okay, do it, shh, shh.
these are the kinds of sounds animals produce reptiles snakes and lizards hiss bees and other worms buzz birds whistle and mammals big animals they have bangs human beings can do all this hisses hisses bunges bangs and glides how do human beings do that what has god given them actually one name for human beings is you know some greek philosophers called human beings no homo sapien is because of other biological features this is homo what is it homo locans speaking animal right talking animal you know human beings are talk constantly talking you know you see two human beings together have you ever seen them sitting silently unless they are man and wife okay are they talking all the time you know all the time you know go on a train go on a plane except in the classroom you know where the teacher alone talks boring or otherwise okay you know we are talking animals what has god given us so that we talk you know as i told you earlier in an in another course if you are interested do a course with me next semester in linguistics and i will do this in 10 hours okay but here i have to do it in 50 minutes this is what god has given us i will give you 3 minutes exactly copy it with labels everybody please you are i am told you are good at drawing and you have also been given a course in engineering drawing am i right okay i will give you exactly 3 minutes with labels and neat diagram it should not look like the hood of a snake or an umbrella or a walking stick okay give me a good drawing your time begins now
Oh, that's good. Come on, hurry up, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, I will copy this slide to you uh, on the mail. I will send it to Kiran and to Arun and to any, anyone else who likes and you can copy it. Uh, these diagrams are also available. You just Google or you know organs of articulation and you will get it on the net or uh, there are any number of books on phonetics and phonology. You know the science that studies the production of speech sounds is called phonetics. This is the name of the subject, this is the name of the science that studies the production of speech sounds, production, transmission and reception of speech sounds. Okay. Phone in Greek meant sound and X science, the science of speech sounds. If you are interested in learning more about it, you can read books on phonetics and this diagram is also available on the net. Just Google organs of articulation and you will get it or look up a book. Okay. Let me continue talking about the production of speech sounds, so that you know you, you, you are familiar with the apparatus, with the tool you use to speak, so that you can use it better or still better. Okay. How do we, you know, uh, this, uh, I mean these are not the only organs, there are others. Say for example, this organ does not this diagram does not show you lungs. Without lungs and air in the lungs, you cannot speak. These organs only manipulate air that comes out of lungs. That is why when you speak, you know, your chest swells and shrinks. Lungs swell and shrink. They puff and shrink because the air comes out that way. You know, you also feel pressure on your stomach muscle. Some people cannot speak without moving their hands. Okay. No matter what they say, they move their hands. You know, on this hand, I have love and my beloved. On the other hand, there are my parents. Who should I listen to? My parents or my wife or husband? You know, lot of people speak in that manner. But that is not important. If somebody ties your hand, you can still speak. I have my parents on my left hand side, my wife and children on the right hand side. Who should I love more? Okay, I am giving you a dialogue from an old play. The modern play would be, I have America on my left hand, my wife in Infosys on the right. Our wife would say, my husband in some God forbidden company on the left hand and my America on the right. What should I do, O oh God? God would say, go to America, get dollars of course. Husband, you can always pick up on the way, <laughs> right? Okay. So, you can see hands do not directly participate. Am I right? Say yes or no. Yes, yes. Hands do not, you can, even if your hands are in your pocket or even if your hands are tied, you can still speak, but you cannot speak well if your mouth is gagged, if your tongue is tied. Keep your tongue in place and then try and speak. Do not allow the tongue to move. Okay. Do not let your 
do not let your vocal cords vibrate, then try to speak. If you do not allow it to vibrate, nothing will move. So, these organs participate in the production of speech sounds directly. Do you see the point? Okay. Next, the next point is all speech sounds are nothing but a speech air coming out. Whenever you speak, you have a speech air coming out. Keep your hand here and try and say something. Say either Janaganaman or say Om Bhur Bhuvasa or O Holy Father Thy, you know, kingdom come. Say something, please. Speak something or sing a song. Tum chupi hai kahan. Okay. Look. Right? Can you speak without air coming out? Yes or no? Anyone? You know? Why do dead people not speak? Dead people have lips, dead people have tongue, dead people have everything except that they do not have air and their tongue does not move. Okay? There is no air and organs cannot be man moved. So, air cannot be manipulated. Whatever we speak, we speak because of air coming out of our lungs through the oral passage. Can you see here? The lungs are not shown here, but lungs pump air, air can you follow the cursor? Lungs throw air through the larynx, larynx has a box called vocal cords. Look at the picture of the vocal cords, these are the vocal cords, the cords. Anyone here who plays guitar okay, or any other string instrument? or wind instrument, you know. When you strike the cords of guitar, they vibrate and because you can strike them with different degrees of intensity at different points with different pressures, you get musical sounds. So, similarly here, air coming out of the lungs strike these cords, they are known as vocal cords. What are they known as? and vocal cords lie here within the box. This box is called larynx or glottis, call it what you like. Okay? And as air strikes them, air crosses through the vocal cords, in the process the vocal cords vibrate. It is this vibration that you and I hear when others speak and when we speak, others hear us because of this vibration. If you do not allow them to vibrate, if you keep them apart, you can do that at will, then you know you can still speak, but no one will hear you. I am going to give you a demonstration now. I am speaking, I am telling you all the story. There was a king, the king had three daughters. Okay? the eldest daughter was the ugliest, okay. the youngest daughter was the prettiest as it always happens or change it, make the eldest daughter you know the uh, prettiest. Okay. But without voice I cannot tell you that story, I can only throw air. Try and tell each other without voice, say some story to each other. So, air still comes out. Right, Aparna? Air still comes out, right, Irfan? But you cannot, it does not carry far because of this, because the air strikes these cords, there is resonance, and this resonance comes out, strikes the air waves. This is how the waves go. You see, these are the air waves. You see, sorry, can you, can you see the waves? This, can you see the wave forms there? This is the picture of your speech sound. Okay, that is how we are heard. We can have vibrated sounds, we can have without vibration sounds. Say, for instance, try and say, ah, say it. Keep saying it. Okay. <laughs> there are 
people who can do it continuously for 90 seconds. How many seconds can you do it for continuously? Anyone who can do it for 100 seconds? Can you, can you do it for 100 seconds? There are people here, there are colleagues, you know, who can, my colleagues, who can do it easily for 90 to 100 seconds, you know. They begin doing Om, you do it. Try and see how many seconds you do it. One, two, three, begin. cheating please. <laughs> Who did it the longest? So, you did it almost 50 seconds. 35 or 50? Okay, maybe I counted it wrong. Let us clap for him. Okay. The, you know, it, it comes with practice. So, when you produce this, um, you know, put your finger here and say, uh, okay. keep your finger here, but now say, and now say, uh, and now say, do you notice any difference? What is the difference? When you say, Om, there is vibration, but when you say, there is no vibration. Similarly, try and say, now say, keep your finger here, do you hear a difference? Is there a difference? Yes, yes. What is the difference? Vibration. Vibration, once again, you see. So, God has given us a very unique and a very powerful apparatus. You can switch it on and off at your will and you can shout so loud that your friend sleeping in Alaknanda hostel may get up and run to your rescue. What happened? Are you getting married or something? Okay, yeah. Right, you know, you can cry, friend save me, save me or you can speak so soft. These things can be manipulated, can be controlled at will. That is why, you know, philosophers have called this vocal box. Please write if you like. It is called phonator, phonator. Okay? It gives the phone, the voice. Some people also call it resonator. it gives you resonance. Okay? Without this, you cannot speak. Without this, you cannot be heard. You can speak, of course. There are you know, unfortunate people, unlucky people who sometimes have cancer of the vocal box, then you know, vocal cords, then through surgery that vocal, vocal cords are removed. They can still speak, but you will have to take your ears close to their lips, pay attention to their lip movement and then you can understand them, because they lose phonation of the voice, they lose resonance. It is this resonance that carries your voice. Not only that, you know, are you aware of a word like tone? Okay, have you heard this word called tone? He has spoke to me in a pleasant tone. Okay? When some friends from some hostel speak to you in a pleasant tone, you know, you like that, you are happy. But when some friends speak to you in not a pleasant tone, you are very unhappy, you have fight. Okay? Same words, right? But if the tone changes, the meaning or the friendship changes. So, that tone is also the function of the vocal cords. You can say, uh, Kiran is honest, but inefficient. Or you can say, Kiran is efficient, but dishonest. Okay, what is worse? 
Kiran is honest, but inefficient or Kiran is efficient, but dishonest. What is worse? Second is worse. Okay. So, all these things happen because of change of tone and tone is also a function of the vocal cords, you know. Tone is also a function of the vocal cords. If vocal cords start vibrating suddenly, very rapidly, then it is like you know a loud voice, like you are shouting, come on, stand up. But when you speak politely, can you please come on, can you please sit down, can I have your name please, okay? as they speak in very polite places. But you know, when you are rude, when you speak on a railway train, leave my seat please, it is reserved for me. Okay. Then you speak in a rough voice, so that is falling tone. So, this kind of polite tone, rough tone, falling tone, these are all functions of the movement of the vocal cords okay. and you can control these movements. Actually, some people say it does not matter if you do not speak a grammatical sentence. It also does not matter if your pronunciation at times is wrong, but your tone should be all right it should be polite, it should be respectful, it should be you know endearing, not like you are going to quarrel, but like you are going to make friends. So, these functions are also performed by vocal cords, that is why I have been telling you speak slowly, speak with pauses, speak respectfully, do not speak too loud or too soft, because meaning is conveyed. Uh, by not only words, meaning is conveyed also by tone, by voice, all these things are the functions of the vocal cords. Speech air arises in the lungs and crosses the larynx, crosses the, this is the vocal cord, crosses the vocal cords then it comes here. Can you see the cursor please? Everybody yes or no? Everyone please. Okay. So, speech air comes here, here okay. near pharynx, you know this little thing called, this thing is called uvula, u v u please write. uvula or some people call it velum, some people call it velum. In some textbooks you will find the word velum, it is also known as uvula. This performs a very important function in the production of speech sounds, you know. It is this thing here in this di diagram, I downloaded it from Google you know it is not labeled here, but this piece is called uvula or velum. It performs a very important function in the production of speech sounds. When this is lowered further, just now it is in the neutral position, when it is lowered further then all speech air comes through the nasal passage, then you know this does not allow. When it is lowered here, then his speech air cannot escape through the oral passage. Then his speech air can go only through the nasal passage, okay, here in this manner. Say for example, keep your hand here, close your mouth and say mm, Where do you feel air is coming from? Yes. Through your nostrils, that is the speech air. But when uvula is raised,
God, I have great difficulty finding it. When uvula is raised, this passage is closed. Then speech air goes only through the oral passage. Then it comes only through the oral passage. There is no other escape for it. So when you produce sounds like ah, okay, or sounds like ka. it comes only through the oral passage. Okay. So, there are oral and nasal sounds. Some sounds can be both oral and nasal. Say for example, in Hindi, the word for mother, what is the Hindi word for mother, Raman? Ma. Then you have both, you know, keep your hand here and say ma, call your mother. Tell her that I asked you to call her today. Okay. You have air coming through the both oral and nasal passage. That is how we have some nasal sounds, we have some oral sounds. What are the nasal sounds in English? Ma, na and um, as in king, ring, long, or bring. Okay. Do you have nasal sounds in your mother tongue? Do you have nasal sounds in your mother tongue? Yes or no? Okay. We have no difficulty with nasal sounds, you know. We can do it very, very easily, you know, without without any problem. Okay. After the air moves from this point, you know, you know the air it can be either when it crosses through the oral passage then you get oral sounds, when it goes through the nasal passage, then you get nasal sounds and within the oral passage, lots can happen. You see the tongue here, tongue can rise and obstruct the flow of the sound. Tongue is a highly flexible, highly manipulatable and manipulating organ of articulation. It can be a straight, when you say ah see it or it can curl, it can fold sideways when you say as in long, as in laugh, as in last. Okay. It can fold in this manner when you say do it or it can spread towards the teeth when you say e your tongues spread. So, in these ways depending upon whether they rise, whether they are steady, whether they go to left, go to right, you can produce a variety of sounds uh, by manipulating the lips, sorry by manipulating the tongue. If the back of the tongue, you know this is the back of the tongue, this is the center of the tongue, this is the blade of the tongue, this is the tip of the tongue. Suppose the back of the tongue rises towards the hard palate, okay. then you get sounds like ka, kha, say it, ga, gha, but it is the, it is the, it is the center of the tongue, it is the center of the tongue here, you know this rises towards the palate and then you get ch. Say that entire sound ch, ch, j, j. You see how you know the older engineers, the senior engineers organize the sounds together in our alphabet. So, all sounds coming from back of the tongue, ka, kha, ga, ga. All sounds coming from the palate of the tongue, palate in the mouth all together cha cha ja ja what is the next ta so where should it be from where should it be from it is from here it is from here you know near the blade of the tongue and the alveolar ridge behind the teeth 
Okay. Then where should the next group of sounds be from? Ka, tha. They are no near the teeth. And then there are sounds like pa. Where are they produced from? Lips. So you know both lips coming together. Both lips coming together. Unless both lips are together, you cannot produce a sound like pa. Keep your lips apart and say pa. Keep your lips apart, put a pencil between. Can it? You can say a, ah, you can say u, but can you say pa? Can you call your father papa without letting the lips meet? Without letting the lips meet? Can you do that? You cannot. Okay. So, you know, come back to the point. I am in very, you know, this is a, an, this is an entire subject by itself. You can do uh, MSc in phonetics, speech therapy. You can do his PhD in speech production, speech therapy. You can do today, you know, a lot of engineering is happening in in, in natural language processes. Anyone from computer science here? Okay. If you have time someday, go to their speech and vision lab, where people like Hema Murthy, Chandrasekhar, Sukhendu Das and these other people work. They are trying to create a software, which can speak like human, talk like human beings. Okay. How, how you know, they say this is the, you know, current frontier of challenge in sciences and engineering. Can we create machines, which can talk like human beings? And believe me, they can. There are softwares today, you type the words and machine speaks it for you. Okay. It can recognize the sounds and it can produce those sounds. The only problem those machines have is, the tones do not vary. They are unable to copy the vocal cords, the movement of the vocal cords. But we are moving in a direction, where by the time you are my age, I am very confident, you know, you will not need a secretary. You will just tell your machine what to do and the machine will talk for you, type for you, the machine will do everything for you, except perhaps quarrel with you, okay. more or less the kind of Tamil film that Rajnikanth made recently. What was that film called? Yeah, something like, something like that. Okay. Now, why is it important for us to know? Why is it important for us on this course in spoken English? Why is it important for us to know how different speech sounds are produced? For the very simple reason that you know we do 80 to 90 percent of the pronunciation of English quite well, but we have occasional problems. What are those occasional problems? Let us see. What is this? And what is this? Now, what is the difference? In one case, tell me in terms of, tell me in terms of, take your time. Please listen to the question, everybody please. In the last bench also, my friend, okay. Are we together? Last bench. Are we together? I cannot see you because of this light but I hope you can see me, right. Okay. In terms of production of speech sounds, using the language of our organs of articulation, can you tell me, if there is any difference between the production of this and this sound? Please write and tell me then, what is the difference. I give you 30 seconds. Think about it and tell me, what difference is there. No, tongues do sorry, vocal cords do not vibrate for both the sounds for s, sh, no vibration. They vibrate for z, they do not vibrate for s. Vocal cords do not vibrate for either s or sh. There is another difference. What is that difference? 
Okay, one way. Can you stand up and please speak so that camera can catch you? Look, tell the camera. Tell the camera. Okay, in case of shh, not shift. In case of shh, tongue rolls backwards. Okay, is there any other thing? More air coming out. Is there any other thing? Don't say ship, just say shh. Yeah, lips are a little rounded because there is greater pressure, you know. The difference between can you stop? <laughs> please. Okay. Right, come back to me, please. The difference between you, you said it right, you know, but I'm I'm try I, I want it in a more mechanical language, in a in a more technicality to it. The difference between uh, the sound s and the sound sh is the following. In the former, you have less air, less tension on the tongue and tongue is almost in the neutral position. You say s, whereas in the production of sh, okay, tongue is rolled backwards, lips are slightly rounded and there is greater pressure on the blade of the tongue. You say sh, right? Okay. Look at something else. Uh, this. Okay. Try and say this for wet. And this is wet. What is the articulatory difference? Please write and tell me. 30 seconds. First, write. Make sure what happens in one which does not happen in the other. Okay? You it's like you know you are it's like an apparatus, you are describing some mechanism. Please write. Okay. Now tell me, what is happening here? Can you stand up so that the camera can catch you? Yes, Kalpesh. Whereas in wet, the lips are rounded and initially there is a larger uh, throughout of air and then lesser. Rohan. Uh, the upper teeth touch the lower lips, so it is like and wet the lips are rounded. So, in wet the flow of air is more according to me. Aparna? What happens here? In this case, the lip comes close to the upper teeth, but do not bite it, it is not a chocolate. Okay. It just comes close to and then you know you blow voiced air, there is friction here, you know the vibration here. So, you say say it. In this case, lips are completely rounded like you are going to say oo, you know round, just round and then say a wa. Okay. In this case, lips are flat. In this case, lips are rounded. In this case, lip comes close to the lower lip comes close to the upper teeth. In this case, teeth has no participation. The point I am making is if you know about how speech sounds are produced, then you are able to do them, produce the sounds better. Tomorrow, we will, I will take up some non standard English sounds that we use in India and how we can get their pronunciation right. Okay. Do you have any questions? Okay, thank you. Have a good day.